The ABC's supposedly independent media commentator, Paul Barry, made an extraordinary admission on Monday night. Crikey is a Melbourne-based news site with 11 journalists and around 25,000 subscribers. And I should declare, I once worked for it and have a very small shareholding. That's right. The shares Paul Barry describes as small were worth $150,000 back in the day, roughly a decade ago when he first got them. Now, over the years, that stake, according to Barry himself, has dwindled to around $25,000, which, in my opinion, is hilarious. And to make matters worse, Barry's senior Media Watch story editor, Jason Whitaker, spent nearly seven years working at the outlet. The ABC declined to comment on the clear conflict of interest Barry's financial stake in Crikey creates in media reporting, describing it as just a personal issue. Well, Sophie, I'm struggling to understand how the ABC can put this bloke up to be the, the, the head person to talk about media integrity and he's doing all these interviews, um, all these segments on, on Crikey and, and media reporting, which ties into Crikey, and this is the first time I've heard him reveal that he has an ownership stake in the company. It is very concerning, Jack, because his job is to really be the judge of the media landscape in Australia and look across all publications and point out issues with stories. And how can he do this impartially without, uh, you know, having the, the issue that he actually has a stake in this company? It's very, very problematic. One that really, in my view, he probably should have sold those shares. Uh, this is so problematic for the ABC and for Barry himself. Uh, and I think when he announced this on Monday night's program, a lot of people did not know about this. They, they had no idea. So it'd be very interesting to see what happens with this and whether Paul Barry does actually, uh, you know, sell off those shares because this does present issues for the role that he has as effectively the adjudicator for the media industry in Australia for the national mm. broadcaster. And Gideon, obviously, Paul Barry is free to own shares and whatever he wants, he can do whatever he wants. He's a mm. free citizen. That There's no issue here of, of legality. It's an issue that the ABC, our taxpayer-funded organisation, is putting up a man to judge the media who has a financial interest in how the media plays out. Is that appropriate? Look, uh, speaking as somebody who was hatched on Media Watch a few weeks ago, I'm, I'm going to partially come to Paul <laughs> Barry's defence here. And that oh, is, as you, you said, look, uh, uh, he has a... He has a right to have investments that he believes are in his financial and his family's financial self-interest. That's all very well and good. He did declare it uh, better than late than never, I suppose. Should he have declared it earlier? Uh, yes, he should have. Um, but I think what this does point to is it, show, it actually exposes the falseness of the mythology of the ABC's importance. The, the, the poor barriers of the world would have you, have you believe that the only impartial broadcaster, the only media source that you can trust are publicly owned, taxpayer-funded, uh, government-run... Uh, news outlets, when that is just false. They, you know, they, it's not just a choice between the ABC and right-wing media. There are plenty of uh, smaller, independent, left-wing, subversive outlets, and there have been... Low, there are low, Barriers to entry in journalism have never been lower. Uh, it turns out, as we found out this week, that Paul Barry actually believes that himself and he backs Crikey financially. Uh, I think that's the bigger issue here, that it shows that <laughs> independent media in Australia is alive and well. We do not need uh, the government to run a public broadcasting network anymore in Australia. Very well said, Gideon. I love that you've come to his defence. I think that's absolutely brilliant.